Who is this ghastly man? Your one and only favorite Muppet. <laughs> Hey, what's going on, Booms? It's good to see you. Welcome back to the channel. Um, I love the Ducks bit by uh, James Veitch. Veitch. Uh, I pro if I'm saying his name wrong, I apologize. But uh, I'm going to read from the top comment of that particular reaction I did from uh, Magic Carrot. He says, James Veitch, Veitch, please correct me if I'm saying it wrong, has done a TED Talk that's worth a watch. He replies to scam emails. And the results are hilarious. So I'm definitely game for that. That's where we're at here. This is, uh, I just typed in James Veitch TED Talk. And the title of this video, the, the top one that came up, the title was, This is what happens when you reply to spam email. So I'm going to be react to this. If it's the wrong one, I apologize. But uh, I'm pretty sure this is the one because it's the top one. But uh, I'm going to react to this. So thank you, Magic Carrot. Remember to like, subscribe, do whatever you guys want. And let's find out what happens when you reply to scam emails from his perspective. I bet it's it's pretty wild. Here we go. A few years ago, uh, I got one of those spam emails and uh, it managed to get through my spam filter. I'm not quite sure how, but it's turned up in my inbox and it was from a guy called Solomon Odonka. I know. <laughs> it went like this. It said, uh, hello, James Veach. I have an interesting Beach. business proposal I want to share with you, Solomon. Now, my hand was kind of hovering on the delete button. Right? As you are, I was looking at my phone. I thought I could just delete this. Or I could do what I think we've all always wanted to do. <laughs> and I said, Solomon, your email intrigues me. <laughs> and the game was afoot. He said, Dear James Veach, we shall be shipping gold to you. <laughs> You will earn 10% of any gold you distribute. <laughs> so I knew I was dealing with a professional. <laughs> I said, how much is it worth? He said, we will start with a smaller quantity. I was like, ah. And then he said, of 25 kilograms, <laughs> the worth should be about 2.5 million. I said, Solomon, if we're going to do it, let's go big. <laughs> he sounds like he's making a drug deal. I've never f replied to any scam emails or anything. Um, I have a hard time enough picking up my phone. If it's a number I don't recognize, I don't pick it up. So anytime I get, I, I try to, I'm terrible with email. I'm sure some of you have tried to email me at some point, which uh, I should put up a thing, business inquiries only. But um, I, I, I am so terrible with replying to emails because I get so many. And it's not that I get so many from you guys. I get so, so much spam. It's ridiculous. Every time I open up an uh, email, it just gets bombarded with spam, and it drives me crazy. So the one, that I, the one email that I do use, I try to block every type of spam that I get, but it's, it's almost a fruitless endeavor because it stuff always slips through all the time, but I've never thought of actually replying to some of these that when you know, they're just scams. But anyway, I can handle it. How much gold do you have? He said, it's not a matter of how much gold, how much money is your capable of handling? What? We can start with 50 kilograms as a trial shipment. I said 50 kilograms? There's no point doing this at all unless you're shipping at least a metric ton. So what do you do for a living? I said I'm a hedge fund executive bank manager. This isn't the first time I've shipped bullion, my friend. No, no, no. 
Then I started to panic. I was like, look, where are you based? I don't know about you, but I think we're going via the postal service. It ought to be signed for. Right, that's a lot of gold. He said, or not be easy to convince my company to do a larger quantity shipment. And I said, Solomon, I'm completely with you on this one. I'm putting together a visual for you to take into the board meeting, hold tight. <laughs> this is what I sent Solomon. <laughs> nice. I don't know if we have any statisticians in, in the house, but there's definitely something going on. I said, Solomon, attach this email, you'll find a helpful chart. I've had one of my assistants run the numbers. We need to be shipping as much gold as possible. There's always a moment where they try to tug your heartstrings, and this was it for Solomon. He said, I will be so much happy if the deal goes well, because I'm going to get a very good commission as well. And I said, that's amazing, what are you going to spend your cut on? And he said, on real estate, what about you? I thought about it for a, a long time. And I said one word, hummus. <laughs> <laughs> it's going place. That's a lot of hummus. Where are you going to keep it all? I was in Sainsbury's the other day, and there were like 30 different varieties. Also, you can cut up carrots, and you can dip them. Have you ever done that? Solomon! <laughs> he said, I have to go to bed now. <laughs> <laughs> the screamer replies that. That's hilarious. Till tomorrow. Have sweet dream. I didn't know what to say. I said, bonsoir, my golden nugget. Bonsoir. <laughs> Guys, you have to understand, this has been going for like weeks, albeit hitherto the greatest weeks of my life, but I had to knock it on the head. It was getting a bit out of hand. Friends were saying to me, James, do you want to come out for a drink? I was like, uh, I can't, mate. I'm expecting an email about some gold. You know? <laughs> So I figured I had to knock it on the head. I had to take it to a ridiculous conclusion. So I thought I concocted a plan. I said, look, Solomon. Solomon, I'm concerned about security. When we email each other, we need to use a code. And he agreed. And I said, Solomon, I spent all night coming up with this code. We need to use it in all further correspondence. Lawyer! Gummy bear. Oh, God. Bank, cream egg. Legal, fizzy cola bottle, claim peanut M&Ms, documents, jelly beans, Western Union. Guys, a giant gummy lizard. <laughs> I knew these were all words they used, right? I said, please call me Kit Kat, and all further correspondence. <laughs> I didn't hear back. I thought, I've gone too far. I've gone too far. So I had to, I had to backpedal a little bit. I said, look, Solomon, is the deal still on? Kit Kat because you have to be consistent. <laughs> then I did get an email back from him. He said, the business is on, I'm trying, blah, 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 blah. I said, dude, you have to use the code. <laughs> what followed is the greatest email I've ever received. Is it? I'm not joking. This is what turned up in my inbox. <laughs> this was a good day. The business is on. And I'm trying to raise the balance for the gummy bear. <laughs> so he can submit all the needed fizzy cola bottle jelly beans to the cream egg for the peanut M&M's process to start. Send 1,500 pounds via a giant <laughs> gummy bear. Wow. Imagine that. I mean, I'm just, it's, this routine is like, it's pretty funny, but at the same time, I'm just laughing, like, because what if people actually did this to scammers all the time? They would, they wouldn't, uh, there would be no scammers anymore. If you just fucked with them right back, it would be over. They wouldn't get anybody. Unfortunately, not all of us are uh, clever enough to do that. So some of us still get scammed. Um... Fucking! I remember the last time I got scammed. I was, I was like, it was only like a couple bucks, but still, it was, it makes, it makes you feel stupid, you know. Which, you know, 
In actuality, in the moment, you are. If you get scammed by these people. By the way, since we're since I'm on here and since I'm talking to you guys, if you ever see that Telegram scammer that pretends they're me in the comments on YouTube, do not reply to this fucking dude. Okay, it, it's it's a scam. I've been trying to tell people through com community posts uh, constantly. Every, like I still like once every couple weeks I get a message saying like, hey, I talked to some guy on um, Telegram. I talked to you on Telegram. And I'm like, dude, it's not me. It is not me. I don't have a Telegram. I never even had a Telegram app. I don't even know what it does. So unless you see on my YouTube page or my Patreon the links to my other socials, um, if, if you're getting contacted by me from some other source other than the links that I have on YouTube and Patreon. It isn't me, folks. So please don't reply to it, especially if it's Telegram. Because Telegram is definitely a scam. They're trying to get money out of people, and it's driving me crazy. I'm trying to get YouTube to ban these fucking people and those stupid porn bots that show up in my comments constantly. I didn't know this was going to turn into a rant, but it's reminding me of, you know, that stuff. But anyway, so if, if someone contacts you and claims they're me and it's not through... It, um, you know, Patreon or Instagram, or if I don't directly reply to you with my name on a YouTube comment, it isn't me. And that was so much fun, right? That it got me thinking, like, what would happen if I just spent as much time as I could replying to as many scam emails as I could? And that's what I've been doing. <laughs> for three years on your behalf. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Let me tell you, crazy stuff happens when you start replying to scam emails. It's really difficult, and I, I highly recommend we do. I, I don't think what I'm doing is mean, right? Uh, I, you know, there are a lot of people out there who do mean things to scammers. I don't think what I'm doing, all I think I'm doing is, is do, all I'm doing is wasting their time. <laughs> right? And I think any time they're spending with me is time they're not spending scamming vulnerable adults out of their savings, right? Uh, and uh, if you're going to do this, and I highly recommend you do, uh, get yourself a pseudonymous email address. Don't use your own email address, because that's exactly what I was doing at the start, and it was a nightmare. Because, you know, I'd wake up in the morning and have like a thousand emails about penis enlargements. You know, <laughs> only one of which was a legitimate <laughs> response right. to a medical question. I'd have. But I'll tell you what, though, guys. I'll tell you what. Any day is a good day. Any day is a good day if you receive an email that begins like this. I am Winnie Mandela, the second wife of Nelson Mandela, the former South African president. I was like, oh, that Winnie Mandela. <laughs> I know so many. I need to transfer $45 million out of the country because of my husband Nelson's health condition. Let that sink in. <laughs> she sent me this, uh, which is hysterical. <laughs> and this. Uh, and this looks fairly legitimate. This is a letter of authorization. But to be honest, if there's nothing written on it, it's just a shape. <laughs> I say, Winnie, I'm, I'm really sorry to hear of this. Given that Nelson died three months ago, I describe his health condition as... <laughs> That's the worst health condition you can have, not being alive. Right. She said, kindly comply with my banker's instructions. One love. I said, of course, no woman, no cry. <laughs> wow. She said, my banker would need transfer of $3,000. One love. <laughs> I said, no problem, though. <laughs> I shot the sheriff. Oh, my God. But I did not shoot the deputy. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. Man. Yeah, he's doing... Uh, he, well, I don't know if he's still doing it, but he did some major work on our, on our behalf. So thank you, James Veach. Now I know how to say it properly. So, yeah, I like that. That was pretty good. Um, <laughs> 
asking for money from Nelson Mandela when he's already dead for three months. Scamming emails. Yeah, I, I constantly get them. I never actually thought of replying to him, though. Maybe I should start doing that and using my own uh, Muppetism to throw them off their game. Maybe that's a good idea. Maybe I should uh, record some of it and show it to you guys. Who knows? I kind of be piggybacking off of uh, James Reed, so, so I don't know. But uh, yeah, again, seriously, if it comes to the me contacting you, which I get thousands of comments a day, and I get, you know, nearly a hundred messages a day. If I don't, um, if I initiate a conversation through Instagram or Patreon. Um, yeah, basically those two, because those are the only really two where I like, you know, I might reply to a comment on YouTube every once in a while, but it doesn't happen very often. But if I initiate something with you, um, especially on YouTube where the telegram scammer is, is really rampant, don't fall for it. It isn't, it isn't me. It isn't me. Um, I've been trying to get YouTube to tackle this for months, but I feel like they're not doing anything about it. Not that I'm trashing you, YouTube. I love being on your platform, and I, and I couldn't have done most of this stuff without you. But um, Actually, all this stuff without you. But uh, something's got to be done about that. And the porn bots, which have been rampant, and it's just driving me crazy. But this now it's turning into a moaning video, so I don't want to bore you with that. But James Veach, good... Uh, Good little routine here, and uh, it looks like he's doing um, doing good work for the benefit of all humanity. So I'm I'm happy for him. All right. Hope you enjoyed the reaction. Boom rights, like, subscribe, do whatever you guys want, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.